let's go look at a fifth wheel. We'll look at a few while we're here. This is the Eddie Bauer 310RL, 310RL. There's your show price, 55995, okay? 310RL. So this is your, your, your standard fifth wheel design, guys. But it's got the Eddie Bauer collar scheme. It does. Yeah. Right? Again, I can't tell you how many times we've seen this exact layout in, in a design with the different manufacturers. You've got your dinette that seats four. You've got your theater chairs here. You've got your sofa that pulls out to be a bed down there. A couple nightstands, power, USB, cabinetry all the way around. Across from your theater chairs, you've got your TV and a nice fireplace, which is on. Thank the Lord. Uh, and a little cubby down there. Let's see, is there a cubby back behind here? There is not. No cubby behind there. This does articulate though, so that's why I was thinking um, it can come out. I'm not sure why, um, because maybe if you're sitting there, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. So typically, a TV in this position would just be mounted square. All right, when you turn around, you got a nice kitchen with some cool color cabinets. Right, well, let's start with the uh, cool colored pantry. All right, nice. let's give it a test. That sounded solid. Yeah, that does seem Oh yeah, solid. that's solid. Yeah. They got that right. Yeah, you've got a little bit of space on the side of your three burner stove. Um, we've Ta got an Tower of power. Tower of power. Um, with a little bit of space there as well. Um, you've got your microwave. And Over here, by the way, uh, before I move, oh, okay. single basin farmhouse sink. Yes, that is stainless. Wrapped Again, the gold colored uh, faucet. Wrapped with cabinets all the way around. Okay, Trash that's good. There. Very nice. All right. And I'll come to this side. All right. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were coming over to look at the uh, microwave. Well, the refrigerator. The refrigerator. <laughs> See, you're doing it too. I'm doing it too. We're just a little loopy on day we five. We are. All right, there you go, side Probably by we're side, not really 12 to begin with. Well, we're, we're always a bit loopy, that's why y'all love us. <laughs> and I do like that this cabinet is extended beyond yes. this one. She's talking about the profile. The profile. Right? It's not just all flat. Yeah. Just put a little, little personality. And those, that looks like real glass tile. I believe that is real yep, glass tile. Real glass tile. tile. Tower, tower power, power over yep. there, lots of storage here. Yeah, very nice. Awesome. Yeah. All right, let's go up to the front, open all shelves. Right. Or open shelves, open steps, so you can store shoes underneath there. You get up to the bathroom, which is a dedicated space. And as you can see from where that toilet is positioned, that's going to be fine for just about anybody in the world. <laughs> right? Not a problem. There's another recliner. Yep. I love the recliners in the bathroom. <laughs> I really do. Okay? Tall and fluffy approved. Huge vanity, his and her sinks, lots of countertop space. There's no medicine cabinet up top, but a gigantic mirror. Yeah. So you'd have to use one of these drawers for, for all the meds, okay? And then you've got your cabinetry on either side, which is basically the same. Right where Lisa is with the camera, there is your storage for all of your linens, which is also nice. And then you've got your shower. So the skylight though is back here, which I am in. So I'm gonna have to duck right? Because I, I can't stand up in here. Well, hang on. Yeah, my head's just touching. So I'd say 6'2 max. I'm 6'4. You want to give yourself a little bit of gap so you can get your hand up there to scrub, okay? But again, you can stand in the bubble and just lean forward, right? I'll be honest, if I love this floor plan and uh, the Eddie Bauer name, this would not bother me, okay? So this would definitely be a thumbs up for me. I would just duck. And right. the screws up there are recessed, they so are. that's, See? yeah, that's nice. You're yeah. not going to scrape nice. your head on that. Nope. Yep. Nice. Awesome. Let's go into the front. Check out the bedroom. All right. So this looks like an RV King. Let's see what's underneath this bad boy. All right. No spot for Rover, but plenty of storage. Yeah, there's a lot of storage under there for there sure. There's a ton of storage underneath mm -hmm. there. Um, no nightstands, no places for CPAP, so they're going to have to go on the floor. I think there's power on the left, but there's not power on the right. Okay, so there's your power. Let me just double check that power on the right. Unless it's well hidden, there is not. Okay. Um, two tiny drawers, two bigger drawers. Shelf and TV would go up top. Over here, I'm assuming this is going to be a combo washer dryer, which it would be. Love that. And then 
you got some shelving up here. Very nice. Then you have your big slider up here for all the hanging clothes with a little shelf up there as well. So yeah, nice closet. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is a good floor plan. Yeah. Um, for what I felt the other one lacked, this one has, mm -hmm. right? So uh, it's interesting in the same line that they got everything right in this one, but probably could improve a little bit on the other one. 